The government of Saint Lucia has provided tangible support to the national fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister for Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses, on Tuesday, 14 September, one during the sitting of the House of Assembly, provided details on the various measures taken over the last. Honorable Jabati told the House that major improvements have been completed at the respiratory hospital, bringing relief to patients as workers. The minister reported that a functioning telecommunication system is in place. Critically, the Ministry of Health has increased personnel at the respiratory hospital to ensure the monitoring of COVID patients and those awaiting results. Honorable Jabati is further informed that additional staff will be made available. The system of monitoring from testing to results to home monitoring of positive cases to the transfer to the Victoria Hospital if necessary need to be streamlined and our professionals are meeting today, this afternoon, to strengthen and tighten that system. Four, community testing and vaccinations will receive a boost with the purchase of a new vehicle thanks to the Minister for Finance and Prime Minister. For this purpose, we're staffing. The vehicle will complement another vehicle which is being repaired for the purpose of having a permanent mobile unit for the vaccination and testing around the communities in St. Lucia. We are trying, Mr. Speaker, to limit the movement of suspected cases, that is, from traveling from their homes through our transportation system to the hospital to, to be tested. And sometimes they do not get the tests and have to return on the very bus back to their homes. We are trying our best to, to, to take the test, possibly even to the homes of suspected cases. To avert any shortage of medical gas, the Ministry of Health, in partnership with the Ministry of External Affairs, secured supplies from Nip Martinique. We caused a shipment of, of liquefied oxygen to reach St. Lucia from Martinique urgently just as a backup in the event that our gas at our medical gas at Victoria Hospital got us got into problems. We had a situation where we had to um, seek the assistance of the OKEU hospital and also the Tapio hospital. And I want to take this opportunity to, to thank the management of the OKEU hospital and also the Tapio hospital for working with us. But we got a shipment from Martinique on Saturday, and I wish to thank Dr. Eugene and Miss Nancy Francis for ensuring that things went well at the ports. Honorable Moses Jabati says government remains in dialogue with property owners in order to increase the room stock for clean.